are going to talk about copywriting, and as Jill said, we're going to talk about the overall process of copywriting before we get into search engine copywriting. The reason for that is because you can't write great SEO copy until you learn to write great copy. The search engine part comes afterwards. You will hear me say over and over again throughout the presentation that your user comes first. There's a reason for that. The search engines aren't going to buy a thing from you. They can send you tons of traffic, and it's absolutely phenomenal when you get excellent organic rankings you don't have to pay for, and they, you get quality visitors that are funneled to your site. But you're not going to make any money by having high search engine rankings. You're going to make your money when all the traffic coming from the search engines is converted through your site navigation, your products, your copy, and everything else. So we have to start with excellent copy and then go back to the search engines. And that's the order that we're going to do it today. And that means we have to understand what copywriting is and how it can work. First and foremost, you have to know who you're writing to. My classic example of this is if you're going to write a letter. It's very similar to writing copy in focusing on who you're writing to. If you bought a new car and you were excited about it, you would want to write to maybe your best friend and tell them how fast it goes and that you can let the sunroof down and the wind blows through your hair and that some guy was winking at you at the stoplight the other day and revved his engine and it was really cool. Um, got a great deal on it. Just all the exciting things about getting a new car. But if you were going to write a letter to your mom, mom's probably not going to be real excited about finding out that there's some guy winking at her daughter at the stoplight. Instead, mom still wants to hear about your new car, but she's going to want to know that you bought the extended warranty, that you got a great deal, that it has the highest safety rating, that it has really good gas mileage, and you're being ecologically sound when you bought this car. So as you can see, no matter who you communicate with, your core message is going to stay the same, but you're going to have to adjust to the information so that you deliver it in a way that it's best received by the reader. That means it's not about you, it's about them. You never want to stop, sit down at your keyboard, and just begin to type what you want your audience to know. You've got to understand them enough to know whether you're writing to your best friend or your mom and then deliver message in that way.